Uh, hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Agrawal. Welcome to my life page. I'm a pulmonary medicine specialist and I'm today going to speak about pulmonary medicine. So let's, let me introduce myself before we start. I finished my MBBS following which I did my MD in respiratory medicine or pulmonary medicine as it is commonly known. Followed by which I, a lung cancer fellowship and a fellowship in intensive care, critical care that is. Uh, again, I then went on to do my DNB into uh, respiratory medicine from the National Board of Examination, New Delhi, and a senior residency at the PGI Chandigarh and National Institute of Tuberculosis, New Delhi. When you want to become a good pulmonologist, you need to know your respiratory anatomy, respiratory physiology, you need to know your internal medicine, a lot of critical care, and the last of all, palliative care medicine, very, very important aspect of respiratory medicine today. To know, become a good pulmonologist, you need to know your respiratory anatomy. You need to know everything about the structure of the lung. You need to know the respiratory physiology, that is, you need to understand the functioning of the lung. You need to understand how the normal breathing works. You need to understand everything about internal medicine because a lot of your other organs are connected to your lung and when they are affected, your lungs are affected too. You need to be, you need to have empathy. Your patients have chronic diseases, diseases which last a lifelong. You need to be humble, patient. You need to understand the patient as relatives, speak to them, understand what the problems they suffer from. And hence, the empathy is so important. I love saving lives. As a pulmonologist, you'll be so happy to save every breathless patient's lives every day of your life. That we have to work for long hours. We have very odd hours of working. We may be called at 2 in the morning or 4 in the morning for a breathless patient. And we cannot make excuses. We need to rush. I usually start my day very early in the morning, sometimes at 7, taking rounds in the ICUs or taking rounds in the hospitals, followed by a long list of procedures starting from doing bronchoscopies, taking biopsies of patients with swellings in their neck, in their chest, in their lungs, then which is followed by outpatient consultation which can last for anywhere from 4 hours to 8 hours. Followed by again the evening rounds in the hospitals and the ICUs to look after the patients so that they are fine for the night. And in between, we are always, always communicating with the patient and the relatives because without communication, you fail to achieve what you set out to do. Hope I have given you a very balanced view of what it takes to be a pulmonologist. Hope that you also become a pulmonologist someday. Thank you. Have a great career.